आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइव कॉमन मिथ्स अबाउट सेक्स टुडे माय नेम इज डॉक्टर दीपक केड़कर आई एम साइकेट्रिस्ट सेक्सोलॉजिस्ट हिप्नोथेरेपिस्ट डी एडिक्शन स्पेशलिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एट अकोला फॉर द लास्ट थर्टी नाइन ईयर्स देर आर सो मेनी कॉमन मिथ्स अबाउट सेक्स एंड टुडे आई एम टू टॉक अबाउट कॉमन मिथ्स सिक्स कॉमन मिथ्स अबाउट सेक्स नंबर वन इज इफ यू गो एंड सीट ऑन द टॉयलेट सीट एंड टॉयलेट सीट कैन कॉज इफ इट इज इन्फेक्टेड कैन कॉज एस टी डी लाइक सेक्शुअली ट्रांसमिटेड डिसीजेस इट्स ए मिथ टॉयलेट सीट डजन कॉज एनी एस टी डी और सेक्शुअली ट्रांसमिटेड डिसीज नंबर टू इज इफ यू डू सेक्स ड्यूरिंग पीरियड्स मंथली पीरियड्स मेन्स्टुएशन ड्यूरिंग मेन्स्टुएशन देन इट इज सेफ नो इट इज नॉट इवन ड्यूरिंग मेन्स्टुएशन If you do sex, the sperms can remain alive for a few hours afterwards. And if the egg comes little early than the normal, then there may be mating and pregnancy can occur. So it is not hundred percent safe to do intercourse during periods. Like people say, no, no. If you do during periods, apply condom and do the intercourse during periods, it is very safe. No, it is not. It is not hundred percent safe. Next myth is like if you do repeated sex, the private part that is the vagina will get loose, or after birth the vagina gets loose or becomes loose, and there is no enjoyment in the sex. It is not so. It is a myth. Vagina that is the cervix, the outer part is the cervix, and inside is the vagina. It is like elastic. It stretches and comes back to normalcy. So. it doesn't get loose by repeated births or by repeated sex that is also a myth next myth is doing hand practice is injurious to health hand practice causes erectile dysfunction is also a myth hand practice that is masturbation hindi mein mutthi marna kehte hain that is normal and it doesn't cause any side effect no side effect no abnormality masturbation is totally safe masturbation is normal masturbation is not injurious to health or it is not harmful if masturbation is done against the wish against the wish means it is like obsessive compulsive disorder it is an obsession to do masturbation then there is a problem like even if the person is not desirous of doing masturbation and still he has to do it that is a problem masturbation if it is done in haste faster then that becomes habit and if it is done before marriage in a haste in hurry then that becomes the habit and even after marriage if the person starts doing sexual intercourse that also there is early ejaculation because it is a habit of masturbation next is very important like if the discharge if the semen semen is discharge outside the vagina then there will not be any pregnancy no it is also not the truth discharging outside the vagina like people say no you do sex foreplay intercourse and just before discharge take out the penis and discharge is outside so the lady will not be pregnant no it is not so because the precum which comes even before discharge may contain sperms by mistake also one drop or the other may come out and may contain sperm and that may cause pregnancy so discharging outside the vagina is not full proof for family planning or for uh, like not having pregnancy next myth is oral sex causes pregnancy no it is not so oral sex like oral sex means uh, the lady or the female partner uh takes the penis inside the mouth and then there is friction and the sex is done inside the mouth that is oral sex and uh, even if the discharge is done inside the mouth it doesn't cause pregnancy usually ladies don't like having discharge in the mouth some ladies may like it but then during the time of discharge or just before discharge is taken out and discharge is done outside or they to begin with they do the oral sex and after having some time in the oral sex then the vaginal sex is done normal intercourse is done and a discharge is done in the 
vagina but oral sex doesn't cause any pregnancy so these are the myths about sex and one should be aware of this and people should not spread misconceptions about the sex thank you very much